The gentleman from Kansas is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. President Obama and his legislative supporters promised us many things in Obamacare. Some folks might call this misinformation, but today I call them whoppers. Whopper number one, we were promised Obamacare will reduce the deficit. Instead, according to the report from the nonpartisan GAO, Obamacare will increase the federal deficit by $6.2 trillion. Secretary Sebelius, whopper number two, health insurance for all. She has now admitted up to 24 million Americans will lose their current health insurance. Number three, we were promised it will fund abortion. Yet for the first time in decades, Americans will be forced to fund abortions through federal insurance sub subsidies. Whopper number four, it will create jobs. A recent nonpartisan study concluded that Obamacare's employer mandate can put up to 3.2 million American jobs at risk. Number four, we were promised it will strengthen Medicare, but instead Obamacare contains $700 billion in cuts to Medicare and allows a bureaucratic, unelected, unaccountable panel to make these massive cuts to Medicare. Well, for number six, we were promised that Obamacare respects religious liberty. Nineteen courts disagree because the HHS mandate requires all employers to pay for insurance, including abortion drugs, irrespective of any moral objections. Whopper number seven, health insurance will go, will go down, they promised. But instead, every estimate, every estimate provided by insurance providers indicates premiums will in, increase anywhere from 20 to 400 percent. Whopper number eight, it is not a tax. If it's not a tax, why does the IRS need 2,000 more agents just to implement Obamacare because of the 21 tax hikes included in the bill? And last of all, and most importantly, the biggest whopper of all, if you like your health care plan, you can keep it. My constituents, your constituents have shared real life story after story about how they will lose the coverage they like once the individual mandate goes into effect. And the CBO estimates up to 7 million Americans may lose their employer sponsored health insurance plan. Mr. Speaker, it's time to stop telling whoppers and start speaking the truth. It's time to repeal Obamacare now. I yield back. The gentleman's time has expired. The gentlelady from